Hi guys, I am Isa, and today we're going to learn how to use. I mean, we're going to learn how to configure a Q tile using Python. So, anyways, the first thing we have to do is to install Q tile. To do so, I do to do Pac Man S Q tile. So, anyways. If you want to configure a Q tile, you have to open the terminal or a text editor. So I'm not this is going to be Emacs. So let's go to dot config. So I'm going to go to dot config. Now I'm going to go to Q tile and well, it's going to be this config.py. Now we'll see all of these. So I'm going to be explaining all of these. So anyways, so this is my Q tile config. It's different from the default, but uh, so here it says from lib Q tile import bar. Which is this bar layout, which are the layouts, which are the, which are the widgets on this bar hook, which we'll get into later, and Q tile, which we'll also get into later. And from Q tile, from big, it's going to import click, drag, group, key, match, and screen. And we're going to be Q tile, not lazy, import lazy. So lazy is the, you know, it's just where all the defaults of Q tile are. So from webqtile.utils, import guest terminal. So when you first install Qtile, this can try to guess what your what your terminal emulator is. So, so uh, uh, there's also import OS comma sub process, but we don't really need that. So here it says mod is equal to mod four. So the mod four okay, could either be alt or super. So alt is mod one, and super or the Windows key is mod four. On the terminal, we're going to gas terminal. So, yeah. And then here are the keyboard shortcuts. So it says keys. It says key or oh, H. What do you see? That L dot left. That's going to move the focus to the left. And L to move the that L dot right. J is that L dot down. And K is that L dot up. So you can change the key bindings. So yeah, those are the heat items. So anyways, usually, usually, you would see this. I'm gonna change it so that the spaces will be able to be more than one letter. So if you want you, so if you don't want your work spaces to be more than one letter, then leave it like this. So if you want them to be more than one letter, then it will create a function called and its group names. So this is return. So these are the workspace names. So, w, the first one called www. The layout columns. We're gonna get into layouts later. And yeah, just more of these. I'm going to say def in its groups. I'm going to say return group name quark or name quark in the group names. So, so it always yeah, to say name. If name in config main. So it means if the file is being run, group names is equal to in its group names. The groups is equal to in its groups. So for I name quarks and enumerate group is one. So can say keys dot depend. So it's gonna add something to the keys variable. Since the keys variables since the keys variable is a list, we're going to add the key mod. So the modifier key and then gonna stir i the string of i. I'm at least that group name that's the screen. So it's gonna go to that workspace. So super one is gonna bring me to the www workspace. Super two is gonna bring me to the double workspace. So on. In mod sh comma shift there I will use that window that two group name. So that's gonna so that's just gonna move the selected window to whichever workspace you want. Like if I press super shift three, it's gonna move it to the PLY workspace. So here, or just the code that I use for my widgets. 
there you don't come by default it's on here so it's layouts so load that column load her because it's equal to a coli zero so coli is the color so they made you don't really need these border focus you just use to change the border color so so anyways so it's a, you can change which layout it is so in here it says try more edges by unleashing them below there's a little bsp matrix more that tile more that wide ratio tile tile tree tab vertical tile and zoom me so anyways, so yeah, you can switch to all those just just replace columns with whatever that layout's name. And reload Qtile. So if you want to go to reload Qtile by default, I think it's super control R or super shift R. So here is the way that defaults. Where that defaults are the default for all of these things in the bar. So the font is going to be it's going to be any font that you have installed. The font size is going to be 12. The pattern is going to be 3. If you change all of these values, so if I change the pattern to 1, I save it. You can see that there's less padding. I'm just all of these. Well, extension default is equal to wizard default. So copy. So if you turn on a Qtile extension and you want to change the default for the extension, then you, you, you can replace this wizard default. So copy with a dictionary containing all uh, of the default that you want for your extension. So here are the colors. So these are just the colors that are used for the widgets. The screen is equal to screen. Top equals the bar dot bar. So it means that's going to be this bar at the top. You can rename it to bottom or left or right. But I just, just know that if you rename it to left or right, some of the widgets are going to be broken. Like this like this group box widget. So I'm gonna put that back in the top. Here it says widget dot group box. So so the group box. It just it's just you know shows all the workspaces. So we're going to learn we want to learn more about these you know uh, parameters in other tutorials. No widget dot prompt, we don't really need that. Widget dot window name or prompt is equal to colors one. So it's gonna be equal to, so this is the window name. You know, the name of the currently active window. The widget dot sys trait, which is just the system trait, which is dot current layout, which is the current layout. You can see I'm in the college layout. I also have the max layout. And which is dot memory for one which shows the amount of memory. Which is dot post volume. It shows the current volume, which is dot WAN, which shows the current wireless network. And which is the clock which, this is a clock format. So yeah. So the 20. So 20. That's the bar width. What changes to like 40? So you see that the bar width increases a lot. Don't believe that 20. So when there's a background, is equal to colors too. So we so can also have gradients for the background. So like. So like if I just put this color in a list, there's a color map. So I'm going to replace all instances. So if I do that, then I'm going to have to replace all instances of colors uh, two um, of colors one, like in here. The color is one, zero. So, 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 What's gonna happen? Like if I change this, then I go colors one, and I choose like zero, and colors one, and one. It's going to be like that. You want to see a slight gradient. So, 
it's not right here. If I go this way, here instead. So, I'm just kidding. This one color is one. The color is two. to change all of these I want to remove zero from all of these Now it's fixed. And you can also see a slight gradient in the bar. So, anyways, that's the end of today's tutorial. If you enjoyed, leave like and subscribe. So, bye.